Governor's Matt Tallahome is there. The party's starting to wind down there as the mayor retains her seat. Matt. Yeah, Deborah, the party here at Players Retreat is uh, winding down here, getting ready to leave. We saw the mayor walking out here uh, just a second ago as she's heading out of here, celebrating within the last 30 minutes, announcing her victory here, claiming victory for her reelection. This is going to be a challenge, though, with some new city council members that will be taking uh, the seat with her there in city council chambers. The mayor talked a little bit about some of her goals for this next second term. As mayor, take a listen to what she had to say. We have our work cut out for us. We have important work to do, and it starts tomorrow. Housing affordability and choice, we have to keep on it. We are the third fastest growing city in the country. We cannot stop growth. We've got to look at how we manage it, but do it and be inclusive so everybody feels welcome. You know, growth really was on the ballot for a lot of voters here in Raleigh. When you look at some of the other city council races that there were open, these three open seats with no incumbents running, the candidates that won those elections are all supported by some of the anti-growth groups here in town. So it'll be interesting to see how the all can come together. I asked the mayor about that. She says, look, we've got to get beyond politics and really focus on governing here as part of this moving forward. She also talked a little bit about another issue she wants to address is gun violence prevention, especially after the mass shooting in Headingham. So those are some of her big priorities moving forward here. But again, Marianne Baldwin celebrating re-election to a second term as mayor in Raleigh. All right, Matt Tallhelm, live in Raleigh, Matt. Thank you.